stunning pictures, aren't they? Ahead of its 90th anniversary, the Indian Air Force has inducted the Made in India Light Combat Helicopter. The ceremony happened in Jodhpur earlier today. Now, the LCH is called Prachand, which means fierce in English. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh took the first sortie in Prachand and said it was a very smooth ride for him. You'll hear from him in just a bit. A symbol of Atma Nirbharta, which means self-reliance, the LCH has been developed by state-run aerospace major Hindustan Aeronauticals Limited and has been primarily designed for deployment in high-altitude regions like Ladakh. The ace attack helicopter will meet the Indian Air Force's requirement of a dedicated light helicopter for combat operations. Take a listen to Rajnath Singh right after he had finished his sortie. A light combat helicopter, ये indigenous helicopter है और यह कारगिल से लेकर कन्याकुमारी तक किसी भी terrain में fly कर सकता है, कहीं भी fly कर सकता है, रात को भी fly कर सकता है, दिन में भी fly कर सकता है, वर्षा हो रही हो तब भी यह fly कर सकता है और साथ ही साथ अपने target को attack करने की भी क्षमता इस light combat helicopter में है। यह दुनिया के जितने भी इस प्रकार के हेलीकॉप्टर्स हैं उनमें एक बेहतरीन यह लाइट कंबैट हेलीकॉप्टर है टुडे मार्क्स द बिगिनिंग ऑफ अ न्यू चैप्टर इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द इंडियन एयर फोर्स एज वी फॉर्मली इंडक्ट द फॉर्मिडेबल इंडिजिनस लाइट कंबैट हेलीकॉप्टर इनटू आवर आर्सेनल इंडक्शन ऑफ द लाइट कंबैट हेलीकॉप्टर एड्स अ यूनिक कैपेबिलिटी टू इंडियन एयर फोर्सेस कंबैट पोटेंशियल the versatility and offensive potential of this platform is at par or better than most attack helicopters operating globally. Its ability to deliver a wide array of weapons combined with superlative self-protection capability makes this helicopter a lethal machine, one to be feared by any adversary. To begin with, I would say that uh, light combat helicopter indeed is a dream come true for any combat aviator to fly this aircraft. This aircraft was especially, it was a tailor-made aircraft which was designed keeping in view the requirements of a modern attack helicopter to serve all the area of operations, scale, like from the desert area, from the uh, sea area and scaling up to the uh, high peaks of the Himalayas as well. The feeling is definitely uh, great. It is a pride, uh, privilege for uh, all of us to be a part of this uh, elite group of the LCH Trailblazers, as we call it. And we are all honoured to have been uh, chosen to shoulder this responsibility. And it will be our uh, sincere endeavour to work to the best of our abilities to oper operationalise this fleet, uh, this uh, state-of-the-art platform to its full uh, capacity and uh, capability at the earliest. Let me go straight across to Air Vice Marshal Manmohan Bahadur, uh, who is joining us on the broadcast, an ex-helicopter uh, pilot. Uh, thank you, sir, very much for your time here on Mirror. Now, we've just heard from the young pilots. I want to ask you, when you were watching the ceremony uh, in Jodhpur play out today, what was the thought that was you know, going through your mind? This is uh, a big, big muscle push for the Indian Air Force, as it were. Uh, thank you, Shreya, for getting me on your show. Uh, yes, uh, the NCH has been long in coming. Uh, it was as uh, brought out earlier. Uh, after Kargil, during Kargil, we felt uh, the absence of a helicopter which could uh, tr truly attack those pickets of the Pakistanis on those posts. Uh, and from there was born this thought of getting the LCH or a light aircraft which could operate at those hills and deliver armor, that, uh, substantial armor. And um, LCH uh, came out from that thought. Uh, HAL uh, and IAF um, together made uh, the air staff requirements. And uh, we have this aircraft which uh, can deliver armament above 15,000 feet. Mm -hmm. And there is no other helicopter in the world which can do that. So as I was watching uh, this aircraft fly mm -hmm. and uh, being inducted in the, in the IAF arsenal as the chief pilot, uh, I was reminded of my sortie. I flew one sortie in this in uh, 2012. It was the Aero India show, mm. uh, which was there. And uh, it's very sleek. It's very smooth. Uh, that time, of course, it was still under prototype testing. Uh, but it really gave us the feel of what was uh, to come. So uh, uh, any new induction in any force is, is a day of pride, is a moment of pride. 
And I felt the same, uh, having once worn the same overalls as those young boys that we saw in your program. I was just hearing the young pilots uh, explain the fact that there are two cockpits. I don't think that's unusual, but maybe you'd want to talk to our viewers about that. Two identical cockpits. Uh, so you have one that has the pilot in the front and you have the weapons operator who is at the back. But if push comes to shove and the situation demands it, uh, the helicopter can be flown by the weapons uh, operator who's sitting in the rear as well, sir. Uh, that is correct. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, crew of the NCH is two pilots. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they are both qualified pilots. The seat at the back is the weapon systems operator's seat, if we can call it. Uh, but the flying controls are uh, there in the rear cockpit too. Full all flying controls, the major uh, flying instruments which are required, and if required, uh, the, the pilot at the rear can fly the aircraft fully. There's no doubt about it. Please do remember that uh, when a new pilot get, will, uh, gets posted into the LCH, it's the instructor who sits behind and trains the rookie pilot in front. Mm. So the instructor has got full controls of the back. What is in extra in the rear cockpit are, uh, must be certain weapons, um, weapon consoles, uh, specialized ones, which uh, would be fired or used by the pilot sitting in the rear. The advantage of the tandem seating, uh, that is the front and rear, is that the visibility is good. The aircraft has a slim uh, frontal area. Uh, hence, the radar cross-section reduces substantially. Go for a helicopter, the major uh, uh, returns of the radar are from the rotors. But having a sleeker cockpit gives you that, that much of an advantage. Plus, it is a little more quiet perspective about where the LCH uh, is best suited for. Uh, we said high altitudes like Ladakh, uh, you know, it can take out Chinese drones, I believe, uh, very easily. It can take down uh, 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 tanks very easily as well. Was this muscle power required specially in Ladakh, sir? And, and where do you place it in the Air Force's helicopter fleet right now? What's, what's the situation as far as numbers are concerned? And why is this addition important? Uh, when you uh, conceive of an aircraft, there is something called the operational requirements, which are given by the operations branch. Okay. And then you around them, you make air staff requirements. So the op, op branch of the air headquarters or the Air Force uh, would have given the operational requirements to a chair. And uh, the requirement was, uh, as you can make out very clearly, is that it should be able to deliver armament. Now, it doesn't mean that the armament that it delivers at sea level or say in the deserts of Rajasthan is the same amount that can be done in the high altitude areas because of air density, uh, which reduces and hence the flying capability of any flying machine uh, reduces. So, and the lifting capability reduces. And hence, uh, the operational requirements would have stated very clearly that from this height band to the next height band, this is what it should be able to deliver, the armament. This is the flight, flying range, flight ranges that it should have, or the combat radius. And for different altitudes, it would have done that. Similarly, the performance would have been very clearly specified. The rates of the rate of turns, uh, how much of G the aircraft should be able to pull. So uh, the fact that it has been based in Jodhpur mm. shows that it would be linked with the army, certainly, Correct. because uh, it has got anti-tank weapons. And when required, it will go up now. Mm. Sir, thank you very much for your time and perspective here on Mirror Now on the latest addition to the Indian Air Force. That's the light combat helicopter. Quick word on what you make of uh, what it's called, Prachanda. A pretty cool name, I would say. Uh, yeah, but, but some guy has said, you know, what's in the name? So uh -huh. uh, you, you could have called it anything, but uh, you could have called it you could have called it cute, you know, but the fact remains. <laughs> but but, fact but remains, it is cute. I have to yeah. say it's cute and good looking as well. So we'll yeah. leave it be. <laughs> just, just one second. But it's yeah. the man, it's the uh -huh. men and women inside uh -huh. the cockpit that make the difference. Uh -huh. So you can name it whatever you want to name. Prachand is a good name.
<laughs> we'll leave it there. Thank you very much sir, for joining us with your perspective uh, on what has certainly been a big day for India's Atmanirbharta push and for the Indian Air Force as well.